for us, obviously, the, and for most people, the most significant was the, the Korea team, the joint team yesterday. I mean, and also, you can't have failed to have noticed that, um, you know, we we're very happy with this. This was a kind of a chance, if you like, for, for trialogue. Um, the president, almost as a bridge, sat between president of, of, uh, of the People's Republic, uh, uh, of, of the Republic of Korea, and, uh, and the honorary uh, president, the honorary head of state, I should say, of DPRK uh, last night. They were talking at the hockey throughout. So I think it was actually, uh, it was actually a, good, uh, a good symbol of hopefully what the, what the Olympic Games and the Olympic spirit can do. Uh, as I say, a really good uh, tripartite discussion, a good opportunity for trialogue, if you will. And then afterwards, the president went down onto the ice and, and, and talked to the, to the athletes. I think you know, some of them may be a, a little bit disappointed, and he told them that, uh, you know, that oft-attributed uh, quote, uh, often slightly, slightly misquoted, but he, he, he told them that it was, uh, the important thing was to have fought well, which they did, um, not necessarily to have won. Um, he told them that you, you've given everything, uh, you fought well, he said you can be proud, and he said tomorrow uh, you'll kind of understand the full kind of... Uh, importance and significance of this and, and he said as an athlete he understands you know how they were feeling a little bit last night but i think it was a it was a great moment um for the olympic games olympic spirits fundamentally a, a strong deterrence is to have a large enough number of tests that are unpredictable um, the athletes don't know when they're going to be tested, um, and uh, they, they, they have to make that calculation. I'm at risk if I continue to cheat. You had a question about the skiing as well. So, yes, please, a question again. Sorry, sir. And then we'll come to you, madam. Sorry. The Olympic athletes from Russia obviously were a major focus for both the pre-games task force um, and uh, now at the Games. Um, I mean, one, one of the issues is obviously the, uh, the work of the panels, um, uh, was to uh, select athletes for whom there is uh, no evidence that there is any concern. Um, and so uh, we can be confident that the athletes, uh, for, uh, the Olympic athletes from Russia, um, are clean. Um, uh, but obviously, because of the history, we have to have great vigilance. So they are being tested, um, uh, and the, all the testing is intelligent, um, so that it will depend on the sport they're in, but also the country that you're from, the group that you're from, um, the, the history of doping in, the, in that group, and clearly there's a history of doping in, in Russian athletes, so they're in a high-risk group. But uh, in the pre-games testing, they, they were, the, you, you, I'm sure you've seen the statistics, uh, but they've been tested far more than any other group of athletes. Thank you very much. See you all tomorrow. Look forward to it. Bye-bye.